ਵੰਦੇਹੰ The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, 1st Chapter, Text Number 27, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 27th of May, 1976, in Honolulu, Hawaii. When the time of death arrived for the foolish Ajamil, he began thinking exclusively of his son, Narayana. So, in the previous class, so, it has been described, Bhola, Paya, and Amura. And here he is also, Sairam Vatmana Agya. Agya means one who has no sufficient knowledge. He is called Agya. And Mura means as, that's it. So in both the verses, the Ajami is described as full, rascal, and without sufficient knowledge. Why? because he is attached to the child and he does not know that death is coming now death is there this is our position we say the god is dead god is not there god is coming very soon wait a few years till he dead This is the question. You ask him, God is not dead. God is coming to keep you, to kill you. <laughs> yes, Krishna says, Mṛttu sarva harasya aham. What is death? That's like in your previous life you had been something. Death means you have forgotten everything. Suppose I was a very big king or prime minister or president, but that is all finished. Now I have got another life, another chapter of life. Prathādi āntara prāpti. You have to change your body. It may be lower degree or higher degree, but you have to change your body. There are Eight million four hundred thousand species of life, forms of life. You have to accept one of them. That is our real problem. If we forget the real problem and blindly or foolishly say that God is dead, God may be dead, but God's law is not dead. Suppose a king dies. President died. Does it mean the government dies? The government will go out. You can say God is dead. God is not dead. Neither you are dead. But if you foolishly say that God is dead, that does not mean His law is also dead. The law will go out. One king may be dead. The next, his son or somebody will become king. And the government law in God. So, what is the use of talking foolishly like God is dead? God may be dead. God is never dead. This is why uh, this morning we are talking. So, we are concerned with the laws of God. God may be dead or alive. It doesn't matter. Suppose, By law, we are prisoners. We are in the prison house, and all of a sudden, the president or the king died. Does it mean we shall be free? No. We have to rock. That is Bengali proverb: "Say, Raja Mone Rajjo Atkai." 
if the king dies, his government is not stopped. We should remember that. So the, that government is prakriti, the material nature. It's a prakriti kriyamarani guni karmani sarvasa. You are reading Bhagavad Gita. So this is, these are all foolish things. That God is there, I don't care for God. But God, actually God is not dead. You are dead. You are dead because you are dead actually because this body, the bodily concept of life, this body is dead. So it's like you are driving one car, but if you think that I am the car, the car is dead. The car is moving because you are alive. Similarly, this dead body, this body is dead, already dead from the very beginning. But it is moving on account of the soul. This is knowledge. It is dead from the very beginning. Therefore, in the Shastra it is said that Apranasya hi devasa mannanam lokaranya. Apranasya hi devasa, deha, deha means this body. So, either it is dead or alive, it has no life. Apranasya hi devasa. Uh, deha is not alive, it is all, always dead. Simply we understand because we are fully rested. We understand that this body is dead when the soul is away. The body is always there. So Bhagavad Bhakti Bhinasa Jati Jagastava Kriya. If one is not, Krishna calls us Bhagavad Bhakti Bhinasa, then he is big nationality, Jati. His achievement, Japastapa, his activities, everything of Bhagavad Bhakti Nihinastra Jati Japastapa Kriya, all these things are like decoration of the dead body. A prana sahi deyasa mannanam lokaran. Mannanam lokaran. We are decorating this body with flower, ornaments, nice cloth. How long? So long the life is there. Then it is beautiful. Otherwise, no more beautiful. If you guard that, suppose I become dead and you guard that, it may be pleasing to somebody, but what is the value? There is no value. So this material civilization that decorating this body. So the bodily concept of life is condemned in the very beginning of Bhagavad Gita. This knowledge was given to John by Krishna when he surrendered. When he was talking friendly, he did not say. When Krishna or John submitted, that Krishna, I am now perplexed. So how my intelligence can be revived. You know, Krishna, uh, Arjuna knew that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. So his perfect position can be solved by Krishna, that he knew. Therefore he said, Shishya Sriham Sadhimam Prabhannam. Krishna, no more friendly talks. We are wasting time. Now I become your disciple. Shishya. Shishya means disciple. You kindly advise me. I am surrendering unto you. Pradhidhi Panipatina, spiritual master, means you must surrender to me. If you talk foolish, then you will not be benefited. You must submissively and accept what God is saying. So when Krishna began to teach him as teacher, the first thing he uttered 
So far the body is concerned, either it is dead or alive, it is not the subject matter of any talk. Nāna Sūrta-sthi Pandita. Those who are learned as scholars, they don't talk about the body, they will talk about the soul. That is Pandita. What is this? This is this body. Suppose this is cloth. If you talk about this class, you can talk. You can write volumes of books. This silk was purchased from that shop and it was manufactured in such and such day and the man manufactured, he is like this, he is like this. You can go on talking nonsense like this and can write books. So all these rascal philosophers, they are writing about this cloth. That's all. But this is not the subject matter for the learned scholar. Nanusurchanti Pandita. What is this body? A combination of matter, it is already dead because the living soul is there, it is moving, and as soon as the living soul is out of this body, it is used as dead of man. So what is there? Important talking about this dead body. Tastava dasa, it is made of this art, artly ingredient, bhumira pano, and it will become again. You go up. Either there are three, I mean, say, transformation of this body. One transformation is ass, another transformation is two, another transformation is art. There are three different types of transformation. Just like Christian people, they bury the body. So in due course of time you will find, say after ten years the body is finished, it is now art. The body has become art. And Hindus, they burn it, so the body becomes ass. And the Parsis, they throw the body to be eaten by the vultures. It becomes true. This is the last, I will say, transformation of this body. And we are so much busy about this ass, tool, and earth. Just see how foolish we are. Therefore, Krishna said to Arjuna, Gatasuna Gatasuna. Just like motor car. With driver or no driver. What is it is? It is dead matter. That's all. Why one should be busy about this motor car? One should be busy about the driver. Whether he is paid nicely, whether he is eating nicely, he drive. If you don't take care of the driver, simply you wash the car. What is the use? The car will not be moving without driver. Similarly, the whole civilization should be on the basis of understanding the soul. That is civilization. So unfortunately, uh, in a, by the spell of Maya, just like this Ajahnila, he is committing sinful activities he is now rogue, thief, cheater. He doesn't care for that. But he is taking care of the body of the child. He is thinking, this child will save me when I will be in danger. There is another part in the second canto. Diha bhakta kalatra dishu atma sanyesu asasu api. Pramatta tasya nidhana pasyanna pina pasyati. Deha 
beyond means his body. Avatta means children. Vihapatra, Kalatra means wife. Vihapatra, Kalatra, Vishu, Atma, Sarneshu. He is struggling for existence and he is thinking that this my strong body and my nice children and my wife, they are my soldiers, as I am saying. Everyone is thinking that. Now I am in a good family. I have got my family members very nice. I have got my strong body. Oh, what do I care? God is there. That's all. So this is our misconception. We are thinking that this paraphernalia, my country, my community, my countrymen, or my family, my wife, my children, so many things, my, my, my. So I am thinking that they will give me all protection. No. Therefore, in the Bhagavad it is said, Dehavatya Kalatra Dishuru Asasurabhi, he knows that they will be placed. They cannot give protection to themselves. What protection they will give to me? This is not. Dehavatya Kalatra Dishuru Atma Sanyeshu Asasurabhi Pramatra Tasya Nidhanam he knows that they will be faced. Pasana Bhina Pasati, he has practical experience, he still is as much. This is called Maya. Maya may think is one and is thinking otherwise. He is soldier, the so called soldier, the protector, will be finished, but he still is depending on him. So all, a, a bird is flying with his family in the sky. But if there is some danger, then no other bird can help you. You have to help yourself. That's an aeroplane. And it's a dozen of aeroplane is flying. But if one aeroplane is in danger, no other plane can give him any help. It will fall down and crash, finish. So we have to take care of ourselves. They, we are thinking, my country, my community, they are all busy in this way. They will save me. No. When they will crash, nobody will save you. Remember that. You are challenging God is there. When God will come and make you kill it, nobody can save you. So we are so foolish, we are thinking that God is dead and I shall continue my life and my wife, my children, my countrymen, my nation will save me. That is not possible. Thank you very much.